This is what two million pound buyers in the city of London, which won't even get you into the super prime price bracket, which is 10 million pounds and above. This next place that we're gonna be looking at has gotta be one of my favorite neighborhoods. It's located in Northwest London in Hampstead. It's considered to be one of the suburbs in Northwest London, very easy access into central London, and it is in the borough of Camden. It is with the tube of the underground, which is the Northern line, and so I'm excited to just dive in and show you this property. So there's not a lot of places in Northwest London in Hampstead where you could get a combination of having a period building, character, a lift, amazing views of London, modern living, and an outside space. Welcome to Heath Drive. It's a penthouse, three bedroom, we call it an upside down flat. Actually, when you enter the building itself, there's only two flats within that part of the building. So only two flats have the access to that building has a private lift, takes you into the second floor, and you go into the flat itself. Upside down flat because it has three bedrooms in the very first floor that you go into, and the actual living room and the reception and the terrace and the kitchen, everything else is on that second level. Has amazing views throughout. So one thing to know about Hampstead is that when it comes to period conversions, that's what people really like about the area. It's what gives it character. But to find the lift in one of these period conversions is something that's really unusual and makes this property very unique. I mean, it's a beautiful flat. I can picture myself every morning just having a coffee on the terrace and just really enjoying all those views that you can see from there. Hampstead offers the best of both worlds. The classic and contemporary village feel, the quietness of the heath with its wide open meadows and expansive woodlands, which also offers swimming pools and sports facilities, but also it's away from the hustle and bustle. But the contrast to this is that the hustle and bustle of central London is literally just 15 minutes away. So this duplex penthouse has everything you need, from roof terraces, abundance of light from so many windows with so many amazing views. It has an electric garage, additional parking space. It's over 2,000 square feet. It's a period conversion with a lift, which is really unusual, high ceilings, and it's completely refurbished. So the first thing that comes to mind when reviewing this two bedroom apartment in Mayfair, which is undeniable, is location, location, location. The place where this is situated, it's something that if you have deep pockets and you don't mind compromising the square footage when comparing it to other locations such as Hampstead or East London or South London, then absolutely. Another thing as well that I can see is the security. It does come with 24 hour concierge and that does have a value uh, attached to it for sure. So let's look at the features. High ceilings, 24 hour concierge, wooden flooring throughout, ample storage, raised ground floor, 885 square feet, prestigious location, has a long lease and classic feature columns. You can immediately see that this has a lot of natural light coming through the windows despite it being on a raised ground floor, which I know can be a concern of quite a few people uh, being on the lower floors, be it the first or second floor. But this raised ground floor, I say it has quite a bit of natural light. Bedrooms are spacious as well. I mean, the main bedroom looking at between five by three meters and the uh, other room being six by four. And when you look at the square footage overall, it's almost 900 square feet. So there you have it. So far, two examples, similar price brackets above two million pounds, one gives you over 2,000 square feet in Northwest London, but takes you 15 minutes to get into central London. And the other one gives you around about 900 square feet, so half <laughs> the size for the same price. What do you prefer? Leave me a comment below. So this next place is known for its upscale, peaceful, residential ambience, and just overall, it's very green, but also for its cultural institutions. Going back to the greenery in the area, we're talking about Holland Park, and of course, one of my favorite, Kyoto Gardens. So, what does this place have to offer when it comes to two million pounds or above? Let's dive in. So this apartment is based in Holland Park. It's a three bedroom property, 1500 square feet. It features architect designed wooden floors throughout, private garden, excellent storage, and moments away from Holland Park itself. The exterior of these properties look amazing. And to be honest with you, this one doesn't disappoint. It looks very inviting and looks full of character. As we look inside, I think the ceiling height looks great. And for me, one of the biggest things and the unique thing of this property has got to be the garden. 
to be honest with you, garden, especially in central London, is like gold dust. Looking at this property, 1500 square foot, it's interesting to have a look in comparison to the other two properties. And as we look at the floor plan, I just want to look in deeper to the size of the rooms. 1500 square feet for a three bedroom and a study. Now completely switching gears, we're going over to East London. Of course, very different to West London and Central London. It is a vibe that actually I do like, and we're talking about just being in between Old Street and Shoreditch. Now typically you will get more for your money when comparison to West London and Central London. Now that can be in different ways doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna get more square footage. It could be that you get the same square footage than in central London, but the quality and the amenity that you're gonna get is so much more. So I'm interested to dive into this particular property. This is principal place in East London, offers in excess of two million. And let's have an overview of the features of this property. So it is three bedrooms. In terms of the square footage, you are getting 1,118 square foot. On the 40th floor, that is high. So the views you're getting with that is got to be quite amazing. On-site facilities includes pool, spa and cinema. It's a few minutes from Liverpool Street Station, but you also got Old Street just very close as well. So the first thing you can see just looking at these photos is truly the abundance of natural light that's going to come into this apartment. Uh, and with that, of course, you've got these amazing views. So looking at the floor plan, the layout looks great. You've got three decent bedrooms, the smaller being three by two. And of course, this is a new build. And with most new builds, you do have that open plan kitchen, meaning the kitchen is together with the reception room. And you have that balcony, which gives you access to those amazing, amazing views. Two bathrooms, of course, are standard with these type of properties. And uh, it's just overall, it's a very nice flat. Is it worth above two million pounds? Well, I'll let you to be the judge of that. And even though the neighborhood is modern, it does retain that historic charm, has lots of character and plenty of architecture. So here's a few reasons why you may want to buy in Liverpool Street. Firstly, it's the heart of London's financial district. Secondly, Liverpool Street Station provides excellent rail and tube connections. The area has cultural venues like Spitterfield Markets, trendy restaurants and historic sites. It's a central location, so it has great access to shopping, entertainment and nightlife and it has a mix of professional and expats and also locals. So let's go to the south of the river to Battersea, which is in the London borough of Wandsworth. So this southwest London neighborhood borders with Chelsea and Fulham has gone through a huge redevelopment. And if you're looking for something modern, then this probably be the place for you. It still has luxury, has architecture, history, and just overall also has a lot of shopping in the area. Living in Battersea offers a mix of riverfront living, green spaces, and just overall a vibrant community. I enjoy scenic views along the River Thames, leisurely walks, Battersea Park, and a lively atmosphere with shops and restaurants. Has excellent transport links provide easy access to central London, making it an attractive residential choice. So this two bedroom, two bathroom, 1,300 square foot property is right in the heart of Battersea. It's above two million, this one's a 2.6 million pound property. And as I look at these pictures, the first thing that comes to mind is modern architecture meets historic landmark. And I think this is the unique opportunity of owning a piece of history. So as we look through the interior of this property in the photos, one of the things that I really, really do love is that the same character and the exterior carries through inside as well. If you look at the exposed bricks, it's absolutely amazing, but also that window just carries through the same character throughout. And the key features being 1,300 square foot, it has a gym, it has a spa, 24 hours concierge and security. So there you have it, five different properties in five different prime London locations with a price tag of just above two million pounds. We always recommend you speak to a property expert. If you do want to book an appointment with me, just follow the link on the description. You'll have direct access to my calendar.